He was the Supreme Court's longest serving justice, a man of strong faith and conviction, but this wasn't a day for politics. Inside the church, thousands gathered to celebrate the life of Justice Antonin Scalia, who died last week at the age of 79. Among those paying tribute was Justice Clarence Thomas, a close friend. The memorial was led by Father Paul Scalia, one of the Justice's nine children. We Scalia's, however, give thanks for a particular blessing God bestowed. God blessed Dad with a love for his family. Other tributes talked about Justice Scalia's devotion to his faith, family and public service. At the time of his death, he'd served almost 30 years on the Supreme Court. In life, Justice Scalia was a polarizing figure. Nonetheless, he was also someone who garnered a great deal of respect, even from those who opposed his conservative views. But his absence from the Supreme Court has now sparked a political fight. With eight remaining judges, the Supreme Court is now evenly split over a number of important cases on abortion, affirmative action, immigration and President Obama's health care law. The Republicans want to hold off on any new appointment. But President Obama has promised to appoint someone soon, all of which has added a sense of urgency to the presidential elections in November. Our parties need to make it not about Republican or Democrat, but about what's best for the Supreme Court. The president proposes, Congress disposes, so how they do it, uh, it will be up to them to decide. Um, and we seem to forget that there are three branches of government in this country. And I really admired his written product, and we're, it's, it's going to be hard to find someone to replace him. Justice Scalia will be remembered as a gifted writer and a leader among conservative legal scholars. But as the election approaches, the question of who will replace him now looms large. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera. Washington.